my name is Naomi and I make videos on my journey to becoming a new entrepreneur. A new entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I am just so excited to bring you guys along on this journey and to continue to make videos like this because it just is so it was so helpful for me and I can imagine it being helpful for someone else that's starting a business also and if you guys want to know more about why I'm starting a candle business please check out my video previously because I do explain everything I also do a walk around studio tour of my little studio and um, yeah so go ahead and check that out so if you are new here Oh my god, welcome! for clicking on my video I really appreciate it um, I would love for you guys to stick along and today's video is gonna be about me making my candles so I'm excited about that and I'm also going to be unboxing my wax melter <laughs> it's so exciting I'm excited because I got it for Christmas and I haven't opened it yet but I'm excited to open it, open it with you guys today. So right now, I am still in the testing phase, which is amazing, but yet difficult because I am getting to understand like what I want the business to be and the sense that I want. But it is difficult because, you know, making candles is not easy. No matter what anybody says. It's just very complicated and there's a science to it in order for you to get the perfect candle so i am currently studying for my final exam which will be me launching so i have to make sure that everything is correct so you guys will see me make mistakes because in this video i did make a mistake and i will explain that at the end but you guys will get to see me making the candles and I'm excited so come on let's go make some candles okay so we are saying goodbye 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 no not goodbye we're not saying goodbye <laughs> we are not saying goodbye but we are going to put this away because we have a new wax melt up um, I'm still probably going to use this when I'm testing because this is probably easier to use while I'm testing instead of melting a whole bunch of wax in the wax melter. So I might use that, but we're going to put that probably below and I'm going to set up my wax melter here. Oh, so excited. Always dropping something. All right, let me flip this and then come back. Okay, so I flipped it. Now let's see. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is exciting. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is so cool. I'm super excited about this. Let's try to get it out. Look at this. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Wow. Oh my god. Be tap tap tapping. This is so cute. Oh. 
I'm, I'm an ex inspector, okay? Inspect the gadget. I'm gonna make sure because this looks a little dusty. I hope that it wasn't used. I don't think so because it, it's probably hard to get this wax out, especially in these little corners if it was used. Anyways, so this goes here. Oh, let me show you guys a different one. if it's gonna fit there like is it gonna fit oh my god it's so huge i might have to do it like you know what i might do i might do like it here and then since the spout comes off this is okay okay since the spout um is out i might do it here and then have like a table here so i can put the pouring picture that's what i might do I yeah, I can put like a table right there and then I can just have the pouring picture come out this way. God, this thing is huge. I did not think it was this big. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even joking. I did not realize it was this big. Look at this. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna make some candles today with this. We're gonna test this out. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Yeah, me 
Maybe you break, boy, you're my weakness. Give and we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. To So this type of wax does this sometimes where it creates holes in the middle and I have to fill them because I can't sell a candle like this. Um, some of them are not visible, but if I pull a little bit, see that one's coming out. If I poke a hole in it, you'll see they have, some of them have little holes. This one, you can barely see anything, but I'm pretty sure there's one. Now I made a little boo-boo. 
and some of them are not the same yeah i don't know if the if my scale is messing up i kept saying i'm going to get another scale so i think i'm just going to go ahead and buy another scale because i don't know if that made messed up the measurement because i measured them all the same all right so i'm going to poke holes And those, that one. I know this looks so barbaric. I know. Like, what are you doing to those candles? And I don't really care that I'm mixing. <laughs> I'm not going to do this with the regular candles, but these are just, um, I would probably change them out. I would never have them this like this anyways, because I will be doing batches of scents and not each scent in each one so I don't really care right now all right because these are just testers this is another reason why I wanted to get another one of these because this one doesn't heat that that fast I'm gonna get a closer. settling so this is the first time i've used big mama you see big mama oh almost fell. <laughs> almost fell this is my first time using big mama and um measuring wax melted instead of measuring it solid so i think that has to do with the reason why they are not even even though i use the same measurement for each so we are going to this is see testing phase so that's good now i know what well actually i don't know nothing yet <laughs> i have no idea oh my god i'm just doing i'm falling dropping things anyways so um yeah so now i know i don't know um what i'm gonna do next to figure this out but we're gonna figure it out why these all came out uneven oh boy just another day in the life of a candle maker we're done the tops are leveled the wicks are trimmed and and these have been curing for two days so they have in total seven days to cure so i usually on the second day do that or the first the day after i i melt the tops and stuff so we're gonna see how they come out next time you will see me burn 
All right, guys. So that was one out of probably 400 tests that I'm going to have to do before <laughs> I launch my candle business. But, you know, got to start somewhere. And I am going to be... Um, actually purchasing more items for my studio so um because i i this is not it i need there's like a list like i don't even know how i'm gonna pay for all this stuff but there's a list of things that i have to purchase before my launch because i need like the the shipping label printer and all these things that i need um so i I'm probably going to, once I get all those things in, I'll probably do a video on that. My next video will be of me making the actual candle that, um, because the ones that I used today were the color ones, and those are not the ones that I'm going to be using. I did not receive my wooden wicks yet, so I'm going to be receiving them soon. So my next video, I will show you guys how I actually want the candle to look, and I'm going to be doing the labels, because I got my label samples, so I want to see how they come out. So I'm going to be using Canva to make my labels and I'm really excited about that because I want to just see how it all comes out. Like I'm just like so excited just to see like just one candle the way it's supposed to be, you know, not in the testing phase, but like just the way it's supposed to be. So I'm excited. I'm still waiting on my lids for my candles, which is also a problem. Alibaba. Thank you. But whatever, I'm waiting. We'll, I'm just trying to breathe through it all because it will be here soon, I'm hoping. Um, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, and I'm really, to be honest, I really want you guys' feedback. So if you guys want to, you know, let me know how you felt about the video or if you guys have any tips for me as, candle, as a candle maker, if you're a candle maker or... Um, just tips in general. I do not mind comments. I don't like mean comments, but I don't mind comments, you know, uh, of criticism because I'm learning. This whole journey is of me learning to become an entrepreneur. So for me to learn, I need a community to help me. And I also want to help you guys as well. If you guys are starting a business or wanting to know anything about how to start a business, um, I would love to be a part of that also. So, you know, that's why this, I feel like YouTube is a really good community for that because I've learned so much on here and I'm pretty sure you guys have learned so much on here. So I just want to continue the learning environment. I just want to continue pushing out that and receiving that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys later. Bye.